Hey, listen. Are we about to go to Adventure Hiking Club? Yeah! Woohoo! What are we about to do? Uh, Adventure Hiking Club! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah. That was so funny, Weston. Good job. Hey guys, happy Sunday for you. It is Monday. The weather is beautiful in Texas today. Right now the high, well right now is 70, but the high today is 77. So if you know us, you know that we love to be outdoors when the weather is amazing, or even when it's a little cold. We try to be outdoors as much as possible. So we're going to take advantage of today. We just pulled into a park. We're gonna go hiking as the Hiking Adventure Club. And we're gonna have a picnic. We stopped and picked up some sandwiches and salads and stuff, so we're gonna do that. Oh, look at these people are camping out here. Hey. Little campers. Hey guys, getting your camp on. They're camping. They're camping. Um, and that's it. Later we're gonna do some meal prep for the week. So I know a lot of you guys always wanna do, want us to do a meal prep video, so we'll show you what we're gonna cook for the week. And that's our vlog for the day, so stick around. You wanna camp too? Uh, Okay, okay. So stick around. We're going to take you guys hiking with us and we're just going to enjoy the day together, okay? Adventure Hiking Club! Yeah! Can't be excited! Woohoo! Woo There's um, people, I don't know if you can see them, like over here. They put up hammocks. Everybody's out enjoying the day. We haven't started our hike yet. I lost my phone. It took me like 20 minutes to find it and then we were all hungry and so. Now we're eating lunch. We'll go do our hike after this. Are you ready to go, Daddy? Yeah. Okay. Kirsty, hey, you ready to go? Are you ready to go on an adventure? You ready to go on an adventure? Are you eating sticks? Oh my. I'm gonna hug it too. I'm gonna hug it too. <laughs> Watch, hug it. It's so big, it. right? I can't. You can't get your oh, arms man. around? That's so big. It's so big. Hey, you wanna try to hug this little tree right here? Okay, let's hug this little tree. Let's see what happens when you hug the little tree. I hug the little oh, one. You, hug, you can hug the little tree. <laughs> that Pretty. Okay. Show it to Carsey. Carsey, show it to Carsey. Don't Maybe eat she it. Wants to see. Carsey, see this red berry? <laughs> he smiled. Don't eat it. Don't when he smiles, it. he's saying thank you. Yeah, he's saying thank you. Yeah. You gonna walk again? Oh, oh. hey Weston, you gonna walk up this tree right here? Hey, throw, oh, throw I the see away. it, Weston. Throw the berry. I Look. see it, what Dada's talking about. Oh, watch. Let's go walk up this tree right here now. Oh, man. The Adventure Hiking Club. The Adventure Hiking Club. Hiking high and hiking low. A little bit muddy right here, Mama. The Adventure Hiking walk Club. Up. Walk up this tree right here. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Okay. Can you do it? Can you do it, Weston? Oh, my. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, can you do it? Can you do it? Oh, 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 oh. What if I come tickle you? No. It tickles! Oh, you ready to jump? Okay, hey, not yet, not yet. Okay, let me see it on the count of three. Okay. One, yeah. two, three. Jump around! Oh, Whoa! What? Oh, do you know what I see? Yeah. Look up high. Do you see this green tree up here? What's it? Why is that tree? tree green and then other trees are not green? I think it's evergreen. You think it's an evergreen? Yeah. Oh, I think you are so right. Good job. Those are some evergreens too. Yeah, those are evergreens too. That's right. It's muddy right here. Good okay. job, Weston. Step on the mud. And how come the other trees don't have leaves on them right now? Oh. You don't know why? Yeah. Why don't they? Oh, I'm so sorry. You're good. Go ahead. No okay, there's my oh, boat. Right. Just sitting here, like taking her time. <laughs> Um, Weston, why do the other trees not have leaves on them? Because it's winter time, right? Yeah, yeah, They're winter yeah. time trees. Let me help you. Well, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's like a stick. Huh? That's a little tree. Oh. Okay, well, I'm three, okay? Ah, ba, 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 ba. Ba, Did you do Weston? a good jump that time? That was a good jump. That was a good jump, Weston. Ooh, Weston, look at this. You ready? Mama's gonna run down. Here I go. One, 
two, <laughs> three. Woo! <laughs> what do you think, Carson? Oh, good job. Oh, look at that stream is so cool. If I find a rock, I'll let you know and you can throw it in, okay? Carsey, like Where'd that. Kind of cool. Open your arms real big. Oh, oh yeah. Yep, yeah. that's your size right there. That I one. Can't hug it. It's too big for me. It's too big for you? Yeah. Try this one. Oh, I see one. You need some help? I got it. You oh, because okay. you're Adventure Hiking Club Pro, right? Yeah. You go, buddy. Oh, my gosh. You're doing it, Weston. You're doing so good. Yeah. Yeah. Can you do it? Woohoo! Okay. Oh, good job. Oh, this is the hard part. This is the hard part right here. This is the hard part. You ready? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Raise your hand up. Say Yahoo, Weston. Did you complete your challenge? Woohoo! Okay, Mama and Carsey's turn. Do you challenge us? Okay, Carsey. We are challenged. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Boom. 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 Okay, I'm going to do a big jump. You ready to see my big jump? One, two, three. <gasps> It's been a while since we left you. We finished our hiking. As you saw, everybody passed out in the car. And we went to take Weston to frozen yogurt. And we went to Costco. And Weston's like, frozen yogurt. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we took, you went to frozen yogurt, right? Weston is running around the house right now without underwear or pants on. So he's, you cannot see him right now. <laughs> what? You're here, that's right. We went to Costco, which was kind of disappointing. I'm never really disappointed in Costco. They usually have everything I want, but they didn't have any strawberries, any like raspberries or blackberries, and no rotisserie chicken. Bummer, but we got a few other things, so I'm gonna have to make a trip back to get some of those things. And did I say we went to Kroger? We went to Kroger. Anyways, we're meal prepping right now and getting ready for the week so that we've got some good, healthy food to eat. And I just put Carson to bed. I'm about to put little naked man in the bath. And then he's going to bed. Ah! But here's kind of what we have going on so far, Weston. All right, our island of goodies. This is going to be turned into stuff to, um, chopped up and ready for salads. Don't pay attention to the apple juice. That's for Weston. Um, this 
from Costco. We'll make that into a side. And then um, I love to have a bunch of this, like the greens mix on hand. I use it for breakfast. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys ever watch my Periscope? This is no different than Periscope. What's the screen in the background? Um, I like to put these with eggs for breakfast or in omelets. Uh, obviously for salads they're good too or for smoothies. And I love, love, love the little cucumbers. So I'll do that. I just got some hummus, so I'll have that for some snacks. And then um, in the oven, we just did egg whites in the muffin tin. So that will be going with these bagel fins. The macros on these are pretty good. Um, I was surprised because they have a lot of protein for what they are. I think there's like, how many grams of protein? Six grams of protein for one little. I mean, they're little. So we'll do that. The egg whites with the bagel fins and the cheese for breakfast and then probably a big chicken salad for lunch with rotisserie chicken that I'm going to have to go back and get because I didn't have it. And then for dinner, Kent's going to do pork chop two ways and then we're going to do a vegetable side and then do some brown rice and some uh, sweet potatoes so that you can pick or choose. And then Kent, where are your, where are your dishes at? The little oh, these. I wanted to show you all these. So these are um, for the meal prep. They're just little plastic containers. Um, we got them off Amazon, right, Kent? Yeah. If you search meal prep on Amazon, you'll find these. They're kind of flimsy, though, but a lot of people use them, and so I guess if they're okay. It's so, I don't know. It says you can, sustainable for microwaves, so I guess it works. I don't know. We'll try them out. We haven't used them before, but it seems like they'll be okay. So that's the starting of the process, and we'll check back in later after I take care of my last child to put down and then kind of see where everything's at, and I'll show you. Oh, by the way, sorry about this. Uh, ugly lighting up here. Fluorescent lighting, hideous. Overhead lighting, also hideous. So not attractive, right? But you gotta, you gotta work with what you got, right? We're gonna take that down someday. And we're also gonna redo all of this someday too, right, Kenties? Yes, yes. I love you. Ken's been so happy and sweet today, but something happens to him, like come five o'clock, he kind of turns into the, the meanies. Ken, can you show him how sweet and lovely you are? Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna put? Oh, the leafy greens? From the mix? We're washing them up real good like. Okay, y'all. So, um, Weston is down now. That boy takes forever to put to sleep. I think it's like a first child thing, right? Whenever you have your first kid, you have this whole bedtime routine of story, song, kiss, another kiss, another song, a back rub, and then like, oh, I need a drink. Carson, like you give him a bottle, give him his passing, and you just put him down, you know? We don't, we don't mess around with Carson. <laughs> but um, Weston's in bed now. He'll be falling asleep soon, hopefully. And I'm tired. It's been a long day. I have a house I need to pick up a little bit. Every day, I, I always tell myself, after the kids go to sleep, I'm going to clean the house up, I'm going to do laundry, I'm going to like conquer the world, and then after that time comes and it's like bedtime, I'm exhausted. I have like no energy left to do anything. I need to wash bottles. That's probably all I've got left in me. I want to watch that show. What's that show that we were watching earlier? Broad City. Yeah. It's pretty funny. I think meal prepping is kind of for losers. You think it's for losers? You're pretty much meal prepping right now. Well, uh, let me rephrase that. Meal prepping, when you put it like, you know, you got Night one breeding. protein, one, one thing, and it doesn't, if you think about it, it doesn't make any sense. Why? Because you, you look at this stew right here, right? It contains everything already. So you're really just going to either eat that with rice or whatever you want to eat. But it. you know where meal prepping is good for, Kent? It's like, especially if you're macro county, you like weigh everything out, you calculate everything out, and then you just write it on there, and it's already all done for you. Mm -hmm. If, you're, if you work in an office, you just take your box to work and you're ready to go. For me, honestly, it's much easier for me if I've got the container all portioned out and just grab it and microwave it. Just go portion out yourself. I know I can, but then i got to get like this out and get this out and move this and move that to get to this box and then put it on the plate. Look, and I mean, this, this pork chop doesn't even fit into that container. Yeah. So how, do you, how, how would you do that? I would have to cut it. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make sense. Well, it's... it's I can see your point, but it definitely makes things easier. I mean, if, if you have like chicken that you've already cut up into little thin strips, you can put it right here, you can put a little rice right here, you can put some green beans right here, whatever. But well, I mean, like, this is good for portion control, you know? 
like you know, just a little. That's a good amount of rice. This is a good amount of vegetables. And this is a good amount of protein. You already bought it. We might as well use it. You're gonna get lots of hate mail for saying that meal prep is for losers. No, I, I retract it. Retract it, Kent. Not meal prep, but like you know that that whole. You know how people do that. Well, that's what meal prepping is. No, meal prepping, you can cook a lot of stuff for the week. That's meal prepping. But if you, I, I don't know, I, I feel like it's just for people that don't know how to cook. Oh, oh my gosh. First you call them losers and now you say you don't know how to cook. He, he doesn't mean it, guys. He doesn't mean it. He's been hiking all day. He's tired. Can't kick him? He's like my old grouchy man. Are you, no, my, are you my old grouchy man? No. I'm, you're I'm you're being, not? I'm being real, Kendrick. Okay, that's that's real talk right there. Okay, me, right? Th this is true. If if you are uh, gonna hang around for the long haul, guys, you will learn that Kent is is a real talker, like real talk. Sometimes it's nice to have somebody like that in your life because you know you're gonna get the real answer. But sometimes sometimes it's not so nice. Sometimes you want like unicorns and skittles, you know. That's not what he's gonna give you. Let's say bye. Bye y'all, thank you so much for watching. We post new vlogs every Monday and I blog on our family blog, Hanging with the Hueys on Wednesdays. If you're new to our channel, um, click the link below. Well, there's information for all of our social media. We're on Periscope and Instagram, our blog and YouTube. And um, yeah, we'll see you next Monday. We post vlogs every Monday, so we'll see you next week, okay? Bye.